Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and CherryAnnRichardson.com. Uh, so, we decided to take advantage of the dreary day that it is, and we took a road trip. Uh, we went down to southern Indiana uh, to uh, Stream Cliff Nursery. Herb Farm. Herb Farm. Um... This is some place that Sherry's been wanting to go since, what, 2004? Yes. Um, so we decided, you know, we'd we'd take advantage and go and, you know, see what what was going on down there. Um, what kind of herbs they might have. Because um, she's been looking to replenish some of what she uh, has lost. And... Uh, I was somewhat interested in the place. Um, it's been there since uh, before the American Civil War. Uh, it was actually uh, a location that uh, John Hunt Morgan and his men stopped at uh, during their raid of Indiana uh, in 1863. Uh, they were actually at this farm in, on July 11th of 1863. Um, so that was a little bit of an interest to me. Um, it's one of the few, uh, Civil War things that sort of happened, you know, in Indiana. The, the only time really that, uh, there were any, uh, Confederate troops, uh, in the state of Indiana, um, <laughs> at least on their own. Uh, there were, I think, uh, some that were imprisoned, uh, in Indiana, but it was basically, this was the only time that there were any, uh, like, battles taking place, skirmishes uh, in the state of Indiana. So, um, Morgan's Raiders was, you know, it was kind of a big deal to Indiana. Um, but, uh, so I was, I was interested to see, uh, and it, it was interesting, you know, we didn't really get to wander around too much. Um, the, uh, the winery aspect of, of uh, the farm was, was uh, closed right now. The store, the general store was closed. Um, the antique shop was closed. Um, basically, the only thing open was, was the herbs, um, the, the plant side of things, the greenhouses. Um, and we were a little, a little disappointed in what they had. Um, it wasn't quite as, as exotic as what Sherry was looking forward to. Um, she was hoping to find uh, a little bit wider variety, uh, a little more um, exotic uh, plants. Um, we did get her a new uh, angel trumpet. Um, hers uh, did not make it a couple of years ago. Uh, we had a a cold spell and uh, the greenhouse just didn't hold temperature well enough um, so we've replaced that now um, and we got a few other things but but not a lot um, so it was about two and a half to three hours to get down there um, a little quicker getting back because it was you know a little easier knowing uh, where I was going, um, but uh, you know, fairly long trip, and uh, but we do, you know, we did kind of have fun, but a little bit disappointed. Um, so now we're gonna kind of relax a little bit this evening and uh, see how things go tomorrow. Uh, we'll get started and try and get some stuff uh, hopefully accomplished tomorrow. Hopefully this uh, cold weather snap will break and we'll get back up to uh, some normal temperatures uh, and be able to get some stuff planted because uh, we still need to uh, plant some stuff in the big garden. Uh, I still need to work on uh, fencing on the perimeter of the property. Um, I've got several other projects that I'm still working on. I did get the small greenhouse uh, covered in plastic um, and, uh, it withheld through the, uh, storms yesterday, and, uh, 
the stuff today, so we'll be able to get the tomatoes out there and start hardening them off, uh, probably starting tomorrow or uh, Wednesday. So we'll be able to empty out the greenhouse at least, um, get them out into the this this other uh, plastic covered, and uh, work from there. So, anyways, uh, I think that's going to do it for today. So uh, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and we will see you again tomorrow. Stay safe out there.